Hey, it's Crypto Bobby, and the crypto market cap is up over $300 billion. Yep, that's right. $300 billion in total cryptocurrency market capitalization right now, over $12 billion in volume in the past 24 hours, as Bitcoin is currently approaching $10,000 right now. And I talked about this a little bit previously where I said that $10,000 number is really going to trigger a lot of craziness in the media and probably mainstream. And that seems to be what's happened in a lot of respects, where right now, as Bitcoin is nearing $10,000, it could, quite frankly, it could go over $10,000, probably not any minute right now, but within the next day to week, it could easily go over $10,000. And a lot of what you're seeing in the news right now is, you know, price driven discussions around that $10,000 mark for Bitcoin. And there are a lot of people that are getting into the space right now that have not before have not listened before. And I want to talk a little bit about that and what you're going to see in terms of mainstream media and some some resources and some outlets you can look at and what you could potentially expect in the future from Bitcoin and some of these cryptocurrencies as well. So hopping into it, Right now, like I said, the market capitalization is at 302, almost $303 billion. And that's up in the past three months, in the past three months from about double, about $158 billion back August 28th. And then it crashed all the way down to around $100 million. So almost up 3x since September 15th of this year. Now we're up to about $300 billion in market cap. And it's been a pretty incredible especially over the past month, a pretty incredible bull run uh, where it just continued and continued to go up. And you've really had to pick some pretty rough crypto assets, crypto tokens, whatever you want to call them, to not make money in the space in the past month. And as we go over today, it's been an up and down day in a lot of respects. There have been some cryptos that have really killed it, some that have held pretty much flat for the most part. But on the day, Bitcoin up a few percentage points, Ethereum up a few percentage points, um, my big holding that did really well was I, I told you guys about going into Cardano recently. Cardano was up over 50% since I went in. So I'm pretty happy with uh, the old move in ADA. IOTA is up big in the past 24 hours, currently at an all-time high. One cent off its all-time high right now. So IOTA really crushing it. Ethereum Classic also topped out today with an all-time high. It's only 1% off its all-time high today, up close to 20% on the day. So there have been a lot of cryptos right now that have reestablished all-time highs in the past 24 or 48 hours. We can see here that there have been IOTA is hitting all-time high in the past day. Ethereum Classic, EOS, Stellar Lumens, um, Monocoin, ARC, Library Credits, Obviously, Bitcoin pretty recently, Ethereum within 3% of its all-time high. Um, Cardano in the past 24 hours hit an all-time high. So there have been numerous cryptocurrencies. Gollum, Ardor, basically half of the 20 out of the top 50 cryptos on on-chain FX have hit an all-time high within the past day. So it has been an unprecedented bull run, and that is leading not only the growth of Bitcoin, obviously, heading, heading to $10,000, but outside of that, there's been a ton of mainstream press on that. If you head over to Bloomberg.com, the top, the second top article, this was tops for most of the day, but talking about the Bitcoin cryptocurrency defying the skeptics and things of that nature. So this was the number two, number one article for most of the day and has since gone on to number two, but that level of excitement driving that to number two, number one for almost an entire day uh, with Bloomberg is pretty incredible. I'll link to that in the description as well. And as we're talking about this, there is a lot of conflicting information out there. Quite frankly, there's there's basically two complete opposite ends of the spectrum as far as I see things, which is kind of funny. There are people right now that are saying Bitcoin has risen up so unsustainably fast especially when you look at the past like month or so where it's basically gone from being worth um, $5,000 and change or so all the way up to $9,700 wherever we are right now. But Bitcoin has gone up so unsustainably fast that this is going to drop 80, 90% and just rip everybody's face off and leave so many people holding bags. And then there's the other end of the spectrum that is the, the party isn't even fully getting started yet and that this is a complete unprecedented parabolic move, and that it's going to go to 
you know, $10,000 and $15,000 and $25,000 and potentially $100,000 in the next couple of years. And I think in some cases, both might be true. I think that, you know, the possibility of a severe correction after this heavy of a move is something that I don't doubt by any stretch. And I'm prepared for that if it happens. Um, I'm thinking in in process now about setting some stop limit orders in case there is some type of massive correction so I don't wipe out all my gains and you know lock in some gains. But at the same point in time, I also think that Bitcoin is going to continue on to can, going to continue in some senses in this parabolic type path and continue to move upwards. There are a lot of people I think that are even in the Facebook group and reaching out on Twitter that expect that as soon as Bitcoin hits ten thousand dollars, that the Operation Dragon Slayer thing is going to come true and it's going to hit ten thousand dollars and it's just going to drop down. Part of me almost thinks that once Bitcoin hits ten thousand dollars and can, not that it hits $10,000, goes to $10,001, and then drops down. But if it hits ten grand and stays above that for a little bit of time, that is going to lead to even more press in Bloomberg and New York Times and Wall Street Journal. And there are going to be a number of just regular investors and people that are going to be throwing money into this. I've gotten emails from, I've gotten text message text messages and emails. I've been talking about Bitcoin and cryptocurrency to my friends and to my family for three years, four years. And basically it was always been like, basically I was told like, this is stupid. This is the dumbest thing on the planet. Why are you interested in this stuff? There's no point, blah, blah, blah. You're a dummy. And now I'm getting texts, emails, friends that are signing up for Coinbase, all that type of stuff as Bitcoin is hitting $10,000. So there's some type of like psychological effect I think that's going on, which is pretty interesting. But this chart, and I will also link to this in the description, it's from... Parabolic Trav, who is on Twitter, um, you know, there's a ton of retweets, a ton of likes. A lot of that is is due to the fact that this chart basically shows Bitcoin going up to about $100,000 in the next year. And that's the type of parabolic movement it could potentially have. So a lot of that is people just hoping, I think, and retweeting and liking and hoping I would personally love that. It would make it would make me a very happy guy. I don't know if that type of I wouldn't I would have never guessed that that Bitcoin would in this scenario this week have a very legitimate possibility of hitting ten thousand dollars and exceeding ten thousand dollars. If you told me that two, three months ago, I probably would have called you crazy. With that being said, I'm holding. Um, I'm just holding on to cryptocurrency because I don't think that I think trying to call a top in this bull run is really, really difficult. And you can try to call the top and then you call that top, you sell, and then it just keeps going up and up and up. For me, the way I am investing in cryptocurrency for the most part is I'm going for outsized gains. The risk is the risk. And I know what the risk is. And I know that there's a pretty good possibility that I have, you know, I could either lose some money or I could lose a lot of gains. But for the most part, I've gotten in early enough to the point where I'm up quite a bit in profit right now. So I can I can take on those gains. If you are brand new to crypto and you're like a lot of my friends and family members who are texting me and emailing me now after you know, not listening to me or uh, just calling me silly for the past three years. But <laughs> If you're, you know, if if you're some of those folks and you're brand new to the space and you're getting in right now and Bitcoin's around ten thousand dollars, the one thing I would say is you need to mentally prepare yourself for Bitcoin to potentially go down to seven thousand dollars or five thousand dollars, maybe even lower, because Bitcoin was not that Bitcoin was not that Bitcoin was at that range months ago, like a few months ago. So I think you mentally have to prepare yourself. And if you have some type of downside risk, like if you're investing money into crypto that you can't lose, number one, I'd recommend you don't do that. Number two, if there is a number that you're like petrified of and you can't lose it, set an order there to, to set a stop limit order to sell at that number so that you can protect yourself from that downside. But I think you also want to look at the upside here as well. At, at least that's what I do is I look at Bitcoin as the upside right now. I look at, hey, yes, we're at 10,000, 9,000 something dollars right now. What's the upside if I continue to hold on? Could it go to $15,000? Could it go to $20,000? Yeah, I think that's somewhat pretty pretty feasible. So I'm going to hold on to that. Could Bitcoin also go to $5,000? Yeah, but I can accept those risks and I can look at that and say, Yes, if Bitcoin goes down or if, yes, if Ethereum goes down back to 300 
or to 250, I'll live, I'll pay my mortgage, I'll be fine. Just be in that scenario where you you are okay if something, if a regulation comes out banning ICOs or if something happens where the price of, if Operation Dragon Slayer comes out or whatever it might be, just make sure that you are in a place where you have some level of risk management in place and that you know what you're going to do if the price hits a certain level. Everybody has a plan until they get punched in the face, but try to try to try to establish a plan in case you get punched in the face by a really bad bear market because we've been in a bull position very much recently. So that's something to definitely consider. Now, outside of that, one thing I, I getting into the space as well that I also want to discuss a little bit is so we talked about Bitcoin hitting its mainstream moment, cryptocurrency hitting its mainstream moment right now. A lot of the a lot of the things that are happening. I've seen a couple different people talking about it, and in some cases, it kind of pisses me off. And it's something that I think you know, in some cases, has to be said. And there's a lot of people that are brand new to the space. There's a lot of people that aren't. But like ripping on the people that are brand new to the space and saying like, oh, it's a bubble because all these people are getting in. Somebody's going to be buying your bags. And if you want the cryptocurrency space to grow or if you want the there to actually be usability behind these cryptocurrencies, then like making fun of normal people or whatever it might be, I think is a little bit short sighted. So not everybody has an MBA or a CFA or is a Silicon Valley wonder kind or you know, is an engineer in SF or whatever it might be, or works on Wall Street and has you know, advanced notice of this. There are regular people out there. And just because somebody regular, it's just because there's a normal person out there that's making money trading cryptocurrency and you might have been in early. I don't think that's necessarily like the worst thing in the world. Like I see people out there saying, oh, it's a bubble because, you know, somebody did this or somebody did that. And I don't necessarily think that's the case. I mean, yeah, does it mean it's, are we probably in a bubble? Yeah, I think so. But just because somebody is flipping burgers at McDonald's and is taking their money and putting it into Bitcoin, there's a lot of people that are encouraging them to do that. And, you know, I don't necessarily think that's the worst thing in the world. If they can afford to lose that money, maybe, you know, maybe they can't, but, um, that's, you know, I, I just think that you should be open to new people in the industry and you should be open to teaching people and, and educating people if you've been around here for a while. And if you are new to the space, be open to being educated, be open to learning from people because that's the only way you're going to get better and that's the only way you're going to make more money. And I think that's something you definitely want to make that distinction moving forward. Outside of that, guys, uh, I am going to be doing a crypto happy hour tonight at 9 p.m. or 9 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, so 9 p.m. Eastern time in the U.S., I will be doing a crypto happy hour this evening. So if you are free, come join me for that. Would really appreciate that. And if you are new to the channel by any chance, my name is Crypto Bobby. I do daily videos on the subject of cryptocurrency. So hit that subscribe button, a little notify bell next to that. So when new videos do come out, you get those new videos also when I go live as well. That'd be fantastic. Thank you so much for your time. I really do appreciate it. Would love to hear your thoughts and your questions as far as moving forward. Crypto Bobby signing out. Peace.